the Judah class will be taking us through uh, the topic, how can I start my baptism adventure? Welcome. Greetings, dear children. Welcome to today's adventure in learning. Our journey today takes us to the fascinating topic of baptism. Last week, we began on a search to answer two essential questions. Who can be baptized? And is it necessary to be baptized? As we uncover the answers, we discover that baptism is an exciting journey meant for anyone who can understand right from wrong and is eager to accept Jesus as their personal guide and savior. We also uncover that baptism, we also uncover the treasure that baptism is a symbol of salvation. Today we set sail on new waters exploring the following. How can I start my baptism adventure? Is there ever a need to regain this journey through rebaptism? Before we begin, let's anchor our hearts in a moment of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Even as we begin, begin, begin this journey, guide us and protect us. Which is in Jesus' name of prayed. Amen. Now, young, young disciples, we set course towards the scripture. What does the Bible have to say on how I can start my, my, baptism, my baptism journey? The book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38 provides our compass. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repentance, my fellow, my fellow disciples, is like changing the direction on a map, turning away from our wrongdoings. 1 John 1 9 reminds us if, we're, if we confess our sins, He'll be faithful and just to forgive and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But imagine if we've already taken a plunge and yet find ourselves shipwrecked in sin. Is there hope to set sail once more? Can we undertake our baptism journey again? Ah, that is a thought-provoking question, isn't it? To find the answer, we shall consult the sacred scriptures. Acts 19.5 unveils a group who had already been baptized but had not yet received the Holy Spirit. Yes, my friends, the voyage can be taken anew, especially if we feel we did not embark on the right path or have drifted away from our spiritual course. In addition to that, if someone has done a public sin, they need to be rebaptized to declare to everyone that they have taken a new walk with Jesus as their savior. Friends, our journey for today has reached its final destination. As the sun, as the sun sets on this discipleship adventure, let us offer one more prayer. Oh God, thank you for taking us through this discipleship adventure. Op please open our, our spirits, listen to your teachings, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We extend our deepest gratitude to all of you who are joining us on this Sabbath voyage. Mark your calendars for next Sabbath promises, even more exciting lessons on the thrilling waters of baptism. Until next time, fair winds and flowing seas, goodbye. goodbye.